Hi guys, so today's Dollar Tree haul is going to be different. I just felt like the need to kind of switch it up, do something new. So we're gonna do a little bit more vlog style. I'm gonna take you guys into a Dollar Tree. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping and then I'm gonna show you guys what I end up picking up. So let's go ahead and get inside Dollar Tree, see what treasures I find today. And then I'm gonna come back in the car and that's where we're gonna do the haul.
All right, so the camera might be a little bit shaky until it settles down. I have you guys like balancing on top of a box. So hopefully it's okay from your end. But now we're back in the car. We're gonna do the haul, but I hope you guys enjoyed the little like beach intermission. I just thought it had to also be in this video and I've been wanting to just kind of like go to the beach, take a little stroll. So it was really nice, but let's go ahead and get into this haul because I found so many cute things. There's just so much to honestly like share. I'm, yeah, I, I, I don't even know where to begin, so I'm just going to start grabbing. I picked up these little plastic uh, serving trays. They've been out, so these aren't new, but I have not picked them up this year, and I wanted to show you guys that these are at Dollar Tree again, so we've got that. Of course, you know me. I had to pick up my usual stickers, like just have to do it because they're just so good this year and then I did end up picking up this little like loot bag the one with the dogs on it I just I don't know for whatever reason on this trip I thought they were super cute I mean I saw them um a couple days ago when I was at Dollar Tree and I just didn't like care to pick them up but I don't know what happened on this trip like look at this little ghost dog he's holding like a witch's cauldron that's bubbling over and I think that's so cute and unique so I really like that and there's even like this little dog right here that has like um I guess his outfit is he's like a king or a queen which is so cute so I love that and then I also picked up these zipper seal bags um this one was just too cute to pass up. I'm definitely gonna wanna like journal with this, so that's why I got that. And then I found a new little like Halloween activity book. So this is Spooky Princess Sticker Face. I think that's so cute, so unique and fresh at Dollar Tree. So I love, I love that every year at a store like this, they really are just giving us new stuff. And I just think that's so amazing. So if you need to maybe put together a care package for your granddaughter, grandson, niece, nephew, whatever, like this would be cute to put in there. And then I picked up the modeling foam beads. These are also not new, but they just arrived at my store. So I wanted to make sure that I got them, brought them home. If you're gonna do like a boo bag, um, is that what it's called? A boo? Um, I don't know why I'm like struggling to like find words today but if you're gonna do some type of like boo present boo bag these would be really cute to add in there also great for care packages as well and they're actually really cute they're gonna look cute in a tear tray too but just so that you know when you take these out they don't have the face on them the face is actually on like the packaging but you could maybe easily like add them yourself I don't know so just keep that in mind um, and then these are brand new it's so funny because I have been working with my stash from like a couple years ago and I was thinking to myself I was like I have not seen them come back um, they are the drawstring treat bags here are the new prints this year so I'm very excited very different from I think last year's I don't even know if like these are exactly what they did last year but I've been including some of these in like my mystery kits for you guys because they're so cute they're gonna look cute in a um, junk journal and yeah these are different these are brand new so I really like those and then I picked up some of these chalkboard ornaments here is a squirrel now this looks like a squirrel and if you watched the video, you know what I'm talking about. That looks like a squirrel to me. Um, all right. Then I also picked up the pumpkin. And they have a bunch of these too, like leaves. I was kind of hoping for an apple. They do have an apple one, but it's not in the chalk form. So, FYI on that. And then I also picked up this zipper seal bag with the candy corn. Now just know that the white sheet is just so that you can see the print, but they're actually like clear. They only do it on the first one so that you can like see the print, you know? All right, then I picked up some of these hopping toys, which I thought were so cute. These would also be really cute in a boo bag. Or if you watched my YouTube live where I made the Halloween countdown bags, the question that I got the most out of that entire live of like over two hours was what, are, what do you put in the bags? This would be a really great example of something that you could put very inexpensive, super cute. 
Um, I don't know why, but people that have Jeeps, like this comes to mind because I know that they add a bunch of toys and decorations to like their Jeep, it's like a thing. And then I think that if like another Jeep parks next to another Jeep, they'll sometimes like leave a toy on that Jeep. Any Jeep owners know what I'm talking about? I think that's really cute. I don't know for whatever reason I thought of like these for that. So we got those. I got more of the little spiders with the rhinestones. They are just so cute. Love those. You can just transform these into anything. Y'all know the drill. I say it all the time. Paper clips. You could put them in garland wreaths in a spooky corner if you've got like spider webbing. These are just really cute. Um, okay. I'm not going to show that for today. Uh, then I picked up these party favors. These are brand new. I'm sorry I'm not taking everything out of the bag, but I think it would just get kind of crazy. But there seems to be four pieces in here and they are really cute. So yeah, party favors or anything like that, those will be great. Um, okay, then I found the cupcake toppers. I love these. I love them so much that I actually ordered a whole like thing from dollartree.com with dollartree.com you can't just order one you have to order in the quantity that you know they they make available so i got the whole box and then i've already gone through them because i've also been adding them in my um mystery kits on my etsy shop these would be great to just like style up your journals your october daily like whatever so you get little scarecrows and trucks and you can turn these into paper clips. Love those, those are cute. And clearly great for a cupcake topper too, by the way. And just so that you can see, sorry that I'm going a little fast. I don't know why. Just because I think I have a lot to go through, honestly, is probably like why I'm doing that. Okay, then I got these, which are also labeled as cupcake toppers, but these I have not seen. The, so these were a complete surprise find for me and I do want to open this one up because I have not seen this. Okay, so we get a bat. Oh my god, yes. And I love that it's like all black. They didn't, like no fuss, no nothing. They're just so cute. And then we've got the witch's hat. Really love that. And you can style it up too if you want. And then we've got the spider. And of course you can pluck these off of the stem and then the black cat oh so cute you only get eight pieces in here for the price but i still really like them anyway sorry then i picked up these transfers now i've picked them up before but on this particular trip i saw them from a different like light i thought let me transfer this onto paper in my own personal junk journal. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I got this for myself and I don't know where the other one is. It must be packed in the other bag. So we'll get to that in a second. And then I also got these Woodwards. So cute, you guys. So you can definitely DIY this up. They're a great size for a tear tray. So definitely paint them three pieces in here and then spooky now this one I remember from last year I don't remember this one from last year but this spooky one with the ghost it's everything I, I love that one all right so let me just kind of get everything back in this one bag so stuff isn't flying around and we're just gonna make today's video casual because I have so much to do when I get home that I probably honestly won't have too much time to edit this video. So, all right, so we're gonna throw this bag in the back and then I had to go to town on these little buckets. And this was actually what I got them for. I got them because I thought they would be cute as a boo, boo bag, boo bucket. I don't know what it's called. I had the word the other day, but it's like where you just give a gift but, and you fill it up with stuff. Um, so here is this one. I am loving ghosts, you guys. Like loving them. Like this little witch in the orange bucket, so cute. I love that the handle matches the bucket. I just think it looks nicer. And then we have these buckets and the more like, not as round, I guess you could say. Um, 
All right, so the first one is gray, which I actually really like this one. I don't normally gravitate towards gray, but like the whole scene on here, I really liked. And it's a really big bucket, like just to show you guys. So that's awesome. And then the purple one, there was a fourth one to this one, but I did not care for it, so I didn't get it. I don't know if I got a shot of it or not, but this purple one, probably my favorite out of all of them. But coming in, coming in close second is going to be the orange bucket. Yeah, I mean, look at the stars and the moon. Like anytime they do that, I just, I, I, they win me over. And the, the illustration on the people on the little characters are so oh, this is the same print from those loot bags that i showed you guys in the last dollar tree haul and i said i loved it it was giving me like brady bunch go watch that video and i gave you guys an up close shot of the characters because i thought the illustration was so cute they kind of have this like vintage look to them and then dollar tree goes and puts them on this bucket so now the question for me is what else have they used that print on you know because I'm gonna want it in everything they have then I got this bucket you're going to see this in the next haul my next Dollar Tree haul we're gonna be doing some DIYs um, so I got these cute little buckets I don't think these are new this one definitely ha has been around but like the white stars and the skeletons oh please like Stars are my thing, you guys. I just love them. They just, I don't know. Do you guys have like a thing, like an animal or something where like anytime you see it, you buy it, like turtle, pig? For me, it's stars. Okay, in this bag, I don't even know what's, what's in this bag and I just went this morning. Like, how do I not know? Oh my gosh. Listen, if you are very girly, and you love white, black, pink for Halloween, you need to run to Dollar Tree now, right now. Because let me, let me tell you, no. Let me tell you, I've never seen anything like this at Dollar Tree. How are they making a skeletal body adorable? Like how? But they've done it. And the fact that they put it on this little pedestal, oh, like tear tray tear tray right here so cute it makes me want to use pink for Halloween but like I, I don't unfortunately but I'm still gonna like keep these because maybe one year maybe one year I'll do it I just think they're too good like I just yeah so these are amazing and okay so we've got that bag let's go for this one right here I got this styrofoam you're gonna see it in the DIY that I just mentioned and then I picked up another one of these sash, sassy and chic foundation brushes, but I got them so that I could um, ink stain my pages for junk journaling. I got one in the last haul as well, but the brush wasn't as big, so I wanted to get like a variety. So I did that. And then I picked up these googly eyes. They're really cute. I love how they have the color. They also have these in just like the plain white with the black um, pupil, but these have the color. So I think these are really awesome. Love them. They're gonna be great for like shaker cards and all kinds of things for your journaling. And then I picked up the pearls. Now this says 80 count, and I don't know why, but I looked at it and I was like, that doesn't look like 80 to me, but I'm sure it is. But I'm also not gonna sit here and count on camera, even though I really want to. Can you imagine if it was like 55? Because that's what it looks like to me. Like it doesn't look like 80 pearls. But anyways, all right. Then I picked up some white napkins. You're gonna see that in a DIY coming soon. I picked up these orange labels. Love them, they come in multiple colors, but I'm getting orange for Halloween because I love them for junk journaling. I love my jumbo playing cards. These are probably one of my top. I don't know if you guys want me to do like an only junk journal Dollar Tree haul. Comment down below and thumbs up this video if you want that because these will definitely appear in that video. They're just, they're just so good. I love them and I love that they're jumbo. So they're just, they're really nice to craft with. 
I picked up some of these cupcake stickers. Now I got these because I've been writing out a list of like junk journals that I want to create and I want to do like a sweets themed so I want to get more of those and then I found this so this is the first time I'm hauling this it's a rub-on transfer with the gold balloons and I think they're so pretty I also want to do like a vintage junk journal so I got it for that theme and then I want to do like a country uh, journal like country food and baking kind of thing so I got all of these stickers for that which I've hauled them before grab the sticker because eventually these won't be around anymore and I promise you won't regret this set so I had to get more of those you probably saw the shot of me grabbing this adhesive cutting mat so that's brand new love I, you guys know jot's my number one but i am impressed by crafter square like they are always putting out new stuff so there's that and then i picked up more of my chalk tags you get six to a pack these are fabulous pick them up and then i did pick up a bunch of children's books now these i got because I journal with them and you have to look inside them because they are darling plus you can actually use these little books like the covers as your junk journal cover so I think that's what I'm gonna do with Hansel and Gretel I'm gonna basically like add more inserts but look at the inside you guys these images are just oh my gosh they are so cute so got the Hansel and Gretel again and then of course I got Goldilocks I've hauled this for you guys before, but I got Goldilocks again because I'm wanting to turn this into its own journal. So I got that. And then M is for mouse, but when you open this up, the Nutcrackers, the little toy soldiers, like they, this took me out. This right here is worth the entire $1.25. Forget the contents, but like this for me, just is so cute and then just like look how people are probably like what is this lady doing because i'm at the beach but find m is for mouse find this book and then i got bedtime stories again so this one's also like filled you guys with just like pages and stories cutest little images and I'm not gonna repeat myself because you already know. Envelopes, all that stuff. All right, then I did find some of these patches. Run to get these patches. You know I'm gonna put them in my junk drawer. Like you just know. Um, all right, so then I did pick up some candy mixes. Now I know you guys are waiting for the Halloween candy haul. Don't worry, I've been hauling candy, but I'm putting it aside because it's gonna be its own video. So if you're new to my channel, I've been doing this as a tradition for since the beginning. Since the beginning, I've been on YouTube. I don't even know at this point, nine years, maybe I'm coming up on 10. I, I keep saying eight, but like, I don't know at this point. Since 2012, 10 years, oh my God. Anyways, so I've been doing these traditionally for so long and I just do a whole haul dedicated to Halloween candy. And you guys really love it and I'm so happy that you do. But I got these for a DIY, so stick around for that. I did get a bunch of cards, but I don't think they're gonna be in today's haul. They're gonna be in Wednesdays. So come back for that. Because I did stop at another Dollar Tree. Um, like, that's how I do it. I just have to go to multiple Dollar Trees. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of these bigger items. I got this mailing label because I need to mail something to someone. I have been looking for this one for a while now. I grabbed it not too long ago, but I've wanted to buy it again. And they've just been like sold out at the stores, but I finally found it. I like them because of like the clear cut squares. They're just like really easy to work with and they're great for junk journals. So if you're ordering a mystery kit for me, you might get a couple of like these pieces because they're so cute. Then I picked up this chair cover at what I mean listen it looks cheap okay I mean it's literally a plastic bag it's not even cloth but that is really cool 
I don't know, you know, you're probably obviously gonna have to figure out if it's gonna fit your chair, but like, that's, that's pretty neat. So I love that. And then I picked up out of all the welcome mats, this was the only one that I decided to pick up, but you guys got to see all the other prints. This one just wins it for me. So I got that. All right, in this last bag, I got these plastic clear cups. It's gonna be for a DIY, come back Wednesday. And then these wood words. This one says Wicked with the hat, which is really cute. So if like you're into like Broadway and you just like saw Wicked or whatever, I don't know. Oh, this is completely off topic, but on TikTok, I saw this lady where her TikTok was her flipping through her playbills that she like collects them. She collects them and puts them in an album. And I was so like transfixed by this. I just, I could not take my eyes. And I watched that video over and over. I don't know. So this like kind of like makes me think of that. There was an, actually there was another girl, you guys, very similar, but she collected Lululemon tags. And Lululemon tags are like thick. They're like, they're not like flimsy paper. They're thick plastic tags. And apparently she started doing this from since like 2015. And she has them like all organized in like the baseball card things. And I just sat there and like watched her show all her tags. And I'm like, I don't know why I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Okay. Um, okay. Some candy. We're not going to show that today. Oh, here is the other transfer. So definitely go pick this up if you also want to include it, you know, in your junk journal. And then I picked up these. They are so cute. They're solar steak lights, but the ghost is my favorite because listen, you don't have to keep these on the stakes. You can look easy to pluck off and you can just put this guy in garland, you know, like this little ghost is adorable. Um, and then so, honestly, so is the pumpkin and the solar is on the back so just like keep that in mind okay so we got that and then I picked up another bag of these felt stickers love them I've already opened them all I've already showed them before here are these little like the witch so we got that and then more stickers super cute um the little these are like name, yeah, name badge labels. Love those. And these are orange. They do come in multiple colors. And then I picked up this spider tray, which is going to be in a DIY on Wednesday. So come back. Love that. And this. First of all, this just, I don't know why, but this looks like insanely real. <laughs> to me but a dollar 25 for this gorgeous tray candy holder this is going to be the perfect item to add to your entryway like a little entryway and have it for yourself you come home you grab your little candy your little treat for making it through the day like that's that's what i'm gonna do with mine so you know what so cute and love that there's this like rust to him that's new i've never seen that okay then here is another one. This is Boo. Super cute. Love the exclamation mark. You get three in here as well. And then I found these cupcake holders, which I thought was so interesting. Like how Dollar Tree has these packed. So here is the print. This one has a Thanksgiving feel to it, which is so cute. I love the pie on that. And then here's this one has like the pilgrim hat so also again very thanksgiving on that one and then the last one is probably my favorite y'all that is so cute and of course you don't have to use these as cupcake wrappers you can journal with them so that's what i'm gonna do it's what i got them for oh i also these look different from the other set so let's open it up and look at it because this one has yeah, this one has like little ghosts, but they are white. They're kind of like stuck to each other, and I don't want to break. Right, there we go. So, hang on. I'm not doing this very well. Oh, my, the ghosts. Um, yeah, the ghosts have gotten me this year. Here's another black cat, but in a different form. 
cute. Love that. We got another bat. The bat also looks slightly different from the first set that I showed you. And then we have the pumpkin, which I think it's really cool that the pumpkin is black. You know, like that's just very interesting to me. Cause I mean, they did the ghosts in white, so they could have easily have done like the pumpkins in orange, but I actually really like that they're black. Cause I just like getting a variety of different things from Dollar Tree. So I really like that. Let me just kind of get them all back in this little bag. Okay, and then I found party drink bags. Like you can actually use these to put your drinks in. It says vampire blood. Let's just open this one. We have to open this. How cool and unique is that? The thing is, is I don't know if it's BPA free. It doesn't say that. So keep that in mind. But here is a picture of what it would look like if you filled it with like some type of red drink. Y'all, that is so cool. I absolutely love that. And then the last thing that I'm gonna show today is a Christmas item, which is hilarious. Like all of this Halloween and we're gonna end it on a Christmas note. But I saw this little magazine and I definitely thought that I wanted some of the images in here for a Christmas junk journal that I'm gonna do. Oh, my car's telling me it's gonna turn itself off. So. Anyways, so. Yeah. They have a bunch of magazines too, so definitely check them out. So I got that. But that is it for today's haul. I hope you guys loved the whole concept. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and definitely let me know in the comments. It tells me like what you guys enjoy and I will definitely do more of it. So I definitely had fun filming this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my socks back on because y'all saw me washing my feet. Um, but I will see you guys next time. Come back tomorrow. I think tomorrow is a Dollar General haul. I think I might switch it out for like a home goods Hobby Lobby, but it's going to be one of those. And then again, Wednesday, we're going to be doing some Dollar Tree hauling and DIYs all in one video. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that YouTube notifies you every time I put out a video and I'll see you guys there.